Close your eyes. Take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths. Where do you feel the breathing in the body? Focus there. And then try to breathe in a way that's comfortable. You're creating a home for the mind. And as with any house, if you just move into the house as it is, it's not going to feel like a home. So you make adjustments. Try longer breathing, shorter breathing, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. See what feels good for the body right now and see what kind of breathing the mind likes to stay with. When there's a sense of ease, let it spread through the body. Think of the breath running down all the nerves, through the muscles, out to the skin, out to every pore. So the whole body is breathing in, the whole body is breathing out. With these three things together, your body, a sense of ease, and your awareness. You want the ease to fill the body, you want your awareness to fill the body. That's when you've settled in. And then you protect it. You protect it with mindfulness. Mindfulness is the ability to keep something in mind. In this case, you're going to remember. Any thoughts that come up that are not related to the breath, you're going to let them go. As for thoughts related to the breath, try to think in a way that's conducive to getting the mind to settle down. Then there's alertness. You watch what's actually happening. You notice when the breath is coming in, you notice when it's going out, and you also notice when the mind is beginning to wander away. If it has wandered away, you bring it back. This is part of the third quality you're developing, which is ardency, which is the desire to do this well. You're not just going through the motions. You're paying careful attention to what you're doing and making adjustments so the results come out right. As the Buddha said, this is how you find the Dharma, through commitment and reflection. You commit yourself to the practice, and then you reflect on what you're doing. If you see what you're doing is not getting good results, you can make adjustments. This aspect of the practice, the ardency aspect, that's where the discernment lies. We tend to think that the desire and the effort have nothing to do with discernment, but they're very much involved with discernment. After all, mindfulness is neutral. You can keep anything in mind. Alertness can also be neutral. You can watch anything that you're doing. It's the ardency that makes it good, that makes it skillful. And that's where the discernment is. So that kind of desire is something to be fostered. We hear so much that desire is the cause of suffering. But desire is also part of the path to the end of suffering. It's just a matter of learning to know which de desires to cultivate and which ones to let go. Because we are creating the path here. We're not just settling into a state of mind that's already there. We're creating a state of mind, a state of ease, well-being, that's clear-sighted and can bring all the factors of the path together, everything from right view through right concentration. These things have to be put together. So learn how to put them together well and have that desire to put them together well, because that's what will see you through. There's no one else who can do the work for you. As the Buddha said, all he could do was point out the way. Because after all, our problem is that we create suffering for ourselves, even though we don't want to. And someone can point out that we're doing that. But to learn how to stop doing that is something we have to do ourselves. It's like learning any skill. The teacher can teach you the basics, but you're the one who has to master the skill. So take responsibility for your breath, take responsibility for your mind. and develop these qualities of mindfulness, alertness, and ardency. That's what turns the meditation into something special, something that really does make a difference in the mind. And when you make a difference in the mind, as the Buddha said, the mind is the forerunner of all things, so it's going to make a difference in the world. But this is where it all begins.